Hello students, welcome to the lecture on accounting and after the lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the concept of accounting, define the basic concept of accounting, understanding the role of financial accounting, discuss the conventions of accounting, define the International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS. Let us start with a brief introduction. Every profit and non-profit business entity requires a reliable internal system of accountability. A business accounting system provides this accountability by recording all activities regarding the creation of monetary inflows of sales, revenue and monetary outflows of expenses resulting from operating activities. The accounting system provides the financial information needed to evaluate the effectiveness of current and past operations. In addition, the accounting system maintains data required to present reports showing the status of asset resources, credit liabilities and ownership equities of the business entity. In the past, much of the work required to maintain an effective accounting system involved extensive manual effort that was tedious, aggravating and time consuming. Such systems relied on individual effort to continually record transactions to add, subtract, summarize and check for errors. The rapid advancement of computer technology has increased operating speed, data storage and reliability accompanied by a significant cost reduction. Inexpensive microcomputers and accounting software programs have advanced to the point where all of the postings, calculations, error checking and financial reports are provided quickly by the computerized system. The efficiency and cost effectiveness of accounting computer software allow management to maintain direct personal control of the accounting system. Accounting as an information system is the process of identifying, measuring and communicating the economic information of an organization to its users who need the information for decision making. It identifies transactions and events of a specific entity.
Students, tell me, what do you understand by the term accounting? Accounting is the backbone of business. Ethical and professional practices form a clear financial image of a business and allow managers to make informed decisions, keep investors up to date on developments in the business and keep the business profitable. It is also one of the oldest professions. Businesses have been practicing accounting for thousands of years. A number of disciplines are involved in accounting. At its root is bookkeeping. A bookkeeper keeps track of all of the funds that a business handles, including money paid to the business, money paid out, and assets that the business holds. His or her goal is to keep the ledgers of the company balanced so that anyone can assess, at a glance, the financial state of the company. Records handled by a bookkeeper include payroll, company ledgers, bank statements and paperwork pertaining to real estate and investments. Auditing is also included in accounting. Auditing protects employees, investors and owners of a company from fraud and it is usually performed by an outside agency. During an audit, an accountant will examine the ledgers of a company along with many other records to see if they provide an accurate picture of the financial doings of the business. If other financial records such as bank statements do not support the picture presented by the ledgers, the auditor must find out why. Part of accounting is establishing internal controls to keep a company's business clean so that a company can fearlessly face an audit. The financial records of a company are used to make important decisions such as whether or not to make a major investment. Proper financial management supports company officials while they make these decisions, showing them whether or not an investment will be practical and if the company can afford it. Accountants prepare regular statements that are distributed to company officials so that they can follow the health of the business and they also uh, handle tax rules and reports to government agencies. What is accounting? Accounting is a process designed to capture the economic impact of everyday transactions. Each day, many events and activities occur in an entity. These events and activities are in the normal course of business. However each of these events may or may not have an economic impact. Events or activities that have an effect on the accounting equation are accounting events. The accounting equation is the basis for all accounting systems. Accounting is the process of transforming the financial information associated with economic activity into usable financial information. Accounting is the art of recording, summarizing, reporting, and analyzing financial transactions. An accounting system can be a simple, utilitarian check register, or, as with modern automated enterprise resource planning systems, it can be a complete record of all the activities of a business providing details of every aspect of the business, allowing the analysis of business trends, and providing insight into future prospects. The American Institute of Certified Public Accountants ICPA defines accountancy as, the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions and events which are, in part at least, of financial character and interpreting the results thereof. Why we need accounting The outcome of the accounting process is a group of financial statements that reflect an organization's financial position, liquidity, and profitability. Periodically, financial statements are prepared to reveal the financial position and the results of operations. These financial statements are the output of the accounting process and become an input into the analysis and decision-making activities of business owners, investors, managers, creditors, and government regulators. These financial statements or reports are shared with the stakeholders interested parties who analyze, interpret, and use this accounting information for their own purposes. This information helps the users with their analysis and decision making for various objectives like for investment or understanding and improving the current business. Automated accounting is an information system that provides reports to stakeholders about the economic activities and condition of a business. Role of Accounting Department
The accounting job is typically done by the accounting department, led by an accounting manager, controller, controller, or similar title. These folks record all the transactions that occur as the company does its business and then prepare reports that help the company management and outside constituencies understand the financial impact of those transactions. The accountants maintain the accounting software, process all the documentation pertaining to transactions that have occurred, and record them into the company's general ledger. From all these transaction records the accountants are able to prepare a variety of reports. Some are for people outside the company, like the government, bankers, investors, and stockholders and others are the reports that are important for running the company efficiently. Accountants prepare financial reports that managers use to understand their company's financial past and make decisions about its financial future. Automated accounting programs typically produce a variety of reports and will discuss these reports in depth in later subsections that pertain to general ledger. Accounting versus bookkeeping What is bookkeeping? Bookkeeping is the practice of recording transactions. Bookkeepers tend to focus on the details, recording transactions in an efficient and organized manner, and they may or may not see the overall picture. Accountants use the work done by bookkeepers to produce and analyze financial reports. What is accounting? Although accounting follows the same principles and rules as bookkeeping, Accounting converts them into meaningful financial information that captures all of the details necessary to satisfy the needs of the business managerial, financial reporting, projection, analysis, and tax reporting. Effective accounting practices across a company will create a system of financial reporting that gives a complete picture of the business. What is the role of accounting in business? As discussed earlier, accounting provides information for managers to use in operating the business effectively and efficiently. In addition, accounting provides information to other stakeholders to use in assessing the economic performance and condition of the business. Accounting is generally referred to as the language of business. This is because accounting is the means by which business information is communicated to the stakeholders. For example, accounting reports summarizing the profitability of a new product help management decide whether to continue selling the product. Likewise, financial analysts use accounting reports in deciding whether to recommend the purchase of company's stock. Banks use accounting reports in determining the amount of credit to extend to the company and suppliers on the other hand use accounting reports in deciding whether to offer credit to the company for purchases of supplies and raw materials. Governments and other statutory bodies use accounting reports to calculate and assess taxes appropriately. Objectives of Accounting Objectives of accounting are to keep systematic records Accounting is done to keep a systematic record of financial transactions. In the absence of accounting, there would have been terrific burden on human memory, which in most cases would have been impossible to bear. To protect business properties. Accounting provides protection to business properties from unjustified and unwarranted us. This is possible on account of accounting supplying the information to the manager or the proprietor to ascertain the operational profit or loss. Accounting helps in ascertaining the net profit earned or loss suffered on account of carrying the business. This is done by keeping a proper record of revenues and expenses of a particular period. The profit and loss account is prepared at the end of a period and if the amount of revenue for the period is more than the expenditure incurred in earning that revenue, there is said to be a profit. In case the expenditure exceeds the revenue, there is said to be a loss. To ascertain the financial position of business, the profit and loss account gives the amount of profit or loss made by the business during a particular period. However, it is not enough. The businessman must know about his financial position, that is where he stands, what he owes and what he owns. This objective is served by the balance sheet or position statement. To facilitate rational decision making. 
Accounting these days have taken upon itself the task of collection, analysis and reporting of information at the required points of time to the required levels of authority in order to facilitate rational decision making. Let's discuss in brief the basic concept of accounting. Accounting is a very old science which aims at keeping records of various transactions. The accounting is considered to be essential for keeping records of all receipts and payments as well as that of the income and expenditures. Accounting can be broadly divided into three categories. Financial accounting. It aims at finding out profit or losses of an accounting year as well as the assets and liabilities position by recording various transactions in a systematic manner. Cost accounting. It helps the business to ascertain the cost of production and services offered by the organization and also provides valuable information for taking various decisions and also for cost control and reduction. Management accounting. It helps the management to conduct the business in a more efficient manner. The scope of management accounting is broader than that of cost accounting. In other words, it can be said that the management accounting can be considered as an extension of cost accounting. Management accounting utilizes the principles and practices of financial accounting and cost accounting in addition to other modern management techniques for efficient operation of a company. Financial accounting. Financial accounting aims at finding the results of an accounting year in terms of profits or loss and assets and liabilities. In order to do this, it is essential for record various transactions in a systematic manner. Financial accounting is defined as art and science of classifying, analyzing and recording business transactions in a systematic manner in order to prepare a summary at the end of the year to find out the results of the concerned accounting year. The definition given above is self-explanatory. However, for understanding clearly, the following terms are explained. Business transactions. A transaction means an activity. A business transaction means any activity which creates some kind of legal relationship. For example, purchase and sale of goods, appointing an employee and paying his salary, payment of various expenses, purchase of assets, etc. Classification of transaction. Before recording any transaction, it is essential that it is to be classified. A transaction can be classified as cash transaction and credit transaction. Similarly, transactions of receiving income and payment of expenditure can be segregated. Recording of transaction. The essence of financial accounting is recording of transaction. In accounting language, recording of the transaction is known as entry. There are well-defined rules for recording various transactions in books of accounts. As per the rules of financial accounting, each and every transaction is recorded at two places and hence it is called as double entry. System of accounting. Summary of transactions. After recording all transactions, it is essential to prepare a summary of them so as to draw meaningful conclusions. The summary will help in finding out the profit or loss of a particular year and also ascertaining assets and liabilities on a particular date. Cost accounting. It is a type of accounting process that aims to capture a company's costs of production by assessing the input cost of each step of production as well as fixed costs such as depreciation of capital equipment. Cost accounting will first measure and record these costs individually, then compare input results to output or actual results to aid company management in measuring financial performance. Cost accounting is often used within the company to aid in decision making. Financial accounting is what the outside investor community typically sees. Financial accounting. Financial accounting is a different representation of cost and financial performance that includes a company's assets and liabilities. Cost accounting can be most beneficial as a tool for management in budgeting and in setting up cost control programs which can improve net margins for the company in the future. Management Accounting Management accounting is the application of professional knowledge and skill in the preparation and presentation of accounting information in such a way as to assist management in the formulation of policies and in planning and controlling the operations of the organization. The main purpose of management accounting is to provide information to the management team at all levels within the organization for the following purposes. Formulating the policies, strategic planning, planning the activities of the organization, corporate planning and controlling the activities of the organization, decision making long term and tactical, performance appraisal and at strategic and operational level. Let us study now the role of financial accounting. Financial accounting generates some key documents which includes profit and loss account, 
by turning the method of business traded for a specific period and the balance sheet that provides a statement showing mode of trade in business for a specific period. It records financial transactions showing both the inflows and outflows of money from sales, wages, etc. Financial accounting empowers the managers and aids them in managing more efficiently by preparing standard financial information which includes monthly management report tracing the costs and profits against budget, sales and investigation of the cost. Principles of Financial Accounting Financial accounting is based on several principles known as Generally Accepted Accounting Principles GAAP. These include the Business Entity Principle, the Objectivity Principle, the Cost Principle and the Going Concern Principle. These are Business Entity Principle. Every business requires to be accounted for separately by the proprietor. Personal and business related dealings should not be mixed. Objectivity Principle the information contained in financial statements should be treated objectively and not shadowed by personal opinion. Cost Principle The information contained in financial statements requires it to be based on costs incurred in business transactions. Going Concern Principle The principle will continue operating and will not close but will realize assets and discharge liabilities in the normal course of operations. Importance of Financial Accounting it provides legal information to stakeholders such as financial accounts in the form of trading, profit and loss account and balance sheet. It shows the mode of investment for shareholders. It provides business trade credit for suppliers. It notifies the risk of loan in business for bank and lenders. Benefits of financial accounting. Maintaining systematic records. It is a primary function of accounting to keep a proper and chronological record of transactions and events which provide a base for further processing and proof for checking and verification purposes meeting legal requirements. Accounting helps to comply with the various legal requirements. It is mandatory for joint stock companies to prepare and present their accounts in a prescribed form. Various returns such as income tax, sales tax are prepared with the help of the financial accounts. Protecting and safeguarding business assets. Records serve as a dual purpose as evidence in the event of any dispute regarding ownership title of any property or assets of the business. It also helps prevent unwarranted and unjustified use. This function is of, of, is of paramount importance for it makes the best use of available resources, facilitates rational decision making. Accounting is the key to success for any decision making process. Managerial decisions based on facts and figures take the organization to the height of its success. An effective price policy, satisfied wage, structure, collective bargaining decisions, competing with rivals, advertisement and sales promotion policy, etc. Nature of financial accounting. Accounting is a social science. The nature of accounting information has been dictated from time immemorial by the needs of the users of the day. The history of accounting reflects the pattern of social development and the forces which necessitate the changes in accounting system from time to time. Over the years, accountancy has made tremendous progress in the field of commerce and industry. Accounting can be described as being concerned with measurement and management. Measurements of recording transactions and management with the use of data for making decisions are the two fundamental aspects. Accounting function is very vital for every entity of the society, whether they are individuals, housewives, business entity, non-profit making organizations like municipalities, clubs, etc. All are required to maintain accounts. Accounting is commonly referred to as a language of the business as it is effectively employed to communicate the financial performance of business to various interested parties or stakeholders. It is concerned with the measurement and communicating financial data. Nature and the purpose of accounting. The basic aim of accounting in a business entity is to provide financial information or making decisions on its activities. Managers of an economic entity at various levels require analyzed financial information for planning and programming and for controlling expenditure, for ascertaining the extent of profitability or otherwise of a department, even of each production item, for undertaking new jobs, etc. Scope of Financial Accounting Financial accounting is a very useful tool to management and to external users, such, such as shareholders, potential owners, creditors, customers, employees and the government. It provides information regarding the results of its operations and the financial status of the business. The functional areas of financial accounting are Dealing with financial transactions. Accounting as a process deals only with those transactions which are measurable in terms of money. Anything which cannot be expressed in monetary terms does not form part of the financial accounting. However, significant it is. Recording of information. 
Accounting is an art of recording financial transactions of a business concern. There is a limitation for human memory. It is not possible to remember all transactions of the business. Therefore, the information is recorded in a set of books called journals and other subsidiary books and it is useful for management in its decision-making process. The classification of data. The recorded data is then arranged in a manner so as to group the transactions of similar nature at one place so that full information of these items may be collected under different heads. This is done in the book called Ledger. For example, we may have accounts called salaries, rent, interest advertisement, etc. To verify the arithmetical accuracy of such accounts, trial balance is prepared. Making summaries. The classified information of the trial balance is used to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet in a manner useful to the users of accounting information. The final accounts are prepared to find out operational efficiency and financial strength of the business. Analyzing. It is the process of establishing the relationship between the items of the profit and loss account and the balance sheet. The purpose is to identify the financial strength and weakness of the business. It also provides a basis for interpretation. Limitation of financial accounting. One of the major limitations of financial accounting is that it does not take into account the non-monetary facts of the business like the competition in the market, change in the value for money, etc. The following limitations of financial accounting have led to the development of cost accounting. No clear idea of operating efficiency. Profits may be more or less not because of efficiency or inefficiency, but because of inflation or trade depression. Financial accounting will not give a clear picture of operating efficiency when prices are rising or decreasing because of inflation or trade depression. Weakness not spotted out by collective results. Financial accounting discloses only the net result of the collective activities of a business as a whole. It does not indicate profit or loss of each department, job, process or contract. It does not disclose the exact cause of inefficiency, that is, it does not tell where the weakness is because it discloses the net profit of all the activities of a business as a whole. It is not helpful in price fixation. In financial accounting, costs are not available as an aid in determining prices of the products, services, production order and lines of product. No classification of expenses and accounts. In financial accounting, there is no such system by which accounts are classified so as to give relevant data regarding costs by departments, processes, products in the manufacturing divisions, by units of product lines and sales ter territories, by departments, services and functions in the administrative division. Further expenses are not attributed as to direct and indirect items. Conventions of accounting an accounting convention is a modus operandi of universally accepted system of recording and presenting accounting information to the concerned parties. They are followed judiciously and rarely ignored. Accounting conventions are evolved through the regular and consistent practice over the years to aid unvarying recording in the books of accounts. Accounting conventions help in comparing accounting data of different business units or of the same unit for different periods. These have been developed over the years. Convention of Relevance The Convention of Relevance emphasizes the fact that only such information should be made available by accounting that is pertinent and helpful for achieving its objectives. The relevance of the items to be recorded depends on its nature and the amount involved. It includes information which will influence the decision of its client. This is also known as Convention of Materiality. For example, Business is interested in knowing as to what has been the total labor cost. It is neither interested in knowing the amount employees spend nor what they save. Convention of Objectivity The Convention of Objectivity highlights that accounting information should be measured and expressed by the standards which are universally acceptable. For example, unsold stock of goods at the end of the year should be valued at cost price or market price, whichever is less, and not at a higher price, even if it is likely to be sold at a higher price in the future. Convention of Feasibility The Convention of Feasibility emphasizes that the time, labor, and cost of analyzing accounting information should be comparable to the benefits arising out of it. For example, the cost of oiling and greasing. The machinery is so small that it breaks up per unit produced will be meaningless and will amount to wastage of labor and time of the accounting staff. Convention of Consistency The Convention of Consistency means that the same accounting principles should be used for preparing financial statements year on year. An evocative conclusion can be drawn from financial statements of the same enterprise when there is similarity between them over a period of time. 
However, these are possible only when accounting policies and practices followed by the enterprise are uniform and consistent over a period. International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS. International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS represent a set of generally accepted accounting principles GAAP used by companies to prepare financial statements, a critical source of information published annually at a minimum and useful to various stakeholders, shareholders, debtors, clients, employees and governments in understanding a company's financial performance and the management's stewardship of the company's resources. It was developed by the International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. These are a set of accounting rules followed by or being adopted by more than 100 countries. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Financial accounting is concerned with the recording of financial transactions and analyzing the effect of such transactions to assist in the development of business decisions. The accounting system provides the financial information needed to evaluate the effectiveness of current and past operations. Accounting helps is ascertaining the net profit earned or loss suffered on account of carrying the business. The financial accounting cycle is the process of recording business transactions and processing accounting data to generate useful financial information, that is, financial statements including income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement and the statement of shareholders equity. Financial accounting is a useful tool to management and to external users such as shareholders, potential owners, creditors, customers, employees and the government.